Jeff Herodine, VP of Sales for Barletta Pontoons, here today to show you our C-Class pontoon boats. And I happen to be on a C-22 UC this afternoon, but we're gonna give you a little rundown of why this is just a fantastic boat. Really, really proud and pleased of what we brought into the marketplace. It's a luxury pontoon. It's got tremendous value to it. From the bow to the stern of the boat, really everything was thought out. Everything was done with precision. Everything was done with class and luxury in mind. And the great thing about the C-Class, we've just nailed some really, really good price points. So you get a whole lot of boat for your money in the C-Class, and, and I'm excited to show you why. Um, a Barletta is really, uh, it's important for us on a Barletta to just talk a little bit about the chassis and the ride. We really do have something special. If you've not been on one of these boats, they're a rattle-free, smooth, great, great, great driving pontoon boat. In fact, we're pulling people out of all different kinds of boats. I mean, we're pulling people out of yachts, out of big center consoles, out of tow boats, out of bow riders. Maybe they've owned seven, eight, sometimes 10 and 12 different style boats like that in their, in their boating careers. They get into these Barletta pontoons and we absolutely floor them. They so often say to us, our owners say, this is truly the best riding, smoothest, most comfortable boat that we've ever owned. And so it's pretty important to understand about a Barletta. So you should watch our chassis videos and some of our deep dive construction videos. And if you really want to get into the weeds on that, but I do want to point out that we have just heavy duty cross members on our boats. We have something called vibration isolation pads. It's our VIP technology and it's designed with a purpose in mind to take all the chatter and, and the action from a rough day out in the water um, settle that um, settle that noise and settle that vibration down before it carries up through the floor and through the rest of the boat and then solid keels beautiful welding everything on the bottom and side of the boat is really really great but since we're out on the uh, on the water this afternoon uh, we'll focus on the top side here one thing about a Barletta every time you step into one you'll notice the gates are just a little bit different they're very smooth. They're like a solid core door when you buy a nice house. You, you notice right away when you grab the handle and you swing it open and close, there's just a little bit more to it. We've also got these wonderful rail braces that sit flush up against the furniture. As opposed to a lot of the other boats that you see in the market, they've got little short braces. They're kind of toe stubbers. They get in the way a lot. And, uh, and they just don't look as good. But maybe most importantly, they oftentimes don't even go all the way to the top of the rail. And uh, one thing I just said earlier, and we take it very seriously, rattle free. Do everything you can to make that boat be solid. Not just the day you own it, but a long time down the road. All of our C-Class boats have a real nice walkway through the front. Um, we've certainly, you know, the great part of about a pontoon is what's going on inside, giving people really comfortable spots to sit down to use the boat. But we do want to give you a little bit of walking room up front so you can get to a cleat, get to a dock, get to a fender as you're, as you're coming in and out. We love our overall rail designs. It's just kind of got a nice smooth look. It's got a sleek look to it. Every barletta that we build, you'll notice it's got a little bit of a taper toward the bow. It's just a Barletta signature look. We think it's fantastic. And it just gives that boat that, that nautical, that kind of smooth flowing look that a boat should have. It gives it a nice little stance toward the front of the boat. We love it. You'll notice our hardware is always stainless steel. We've got flip up cleats on every Barletta boat that we build. And as I step into the boat, one of the first things people will notice when they grab a hold of our upholstery is we've got a wonderful soft touch upholstery on every C-Class boat. This stuff is just truly amazing. It's comfortable, it feels very much high-end and it is very much high-end luxury. We've got some nice shape, flow to that seat so that it gives some aesthetic eye appeal as you step on. Beautiful Barletta stitching. Nice color accents throughout. We build this boat in a gray and a tan. I'm on a 22 footer and you'll notice that I can stretch out very, very comfortably. We've got a lot of symmetry in the bow on our C-Class boats so that as I'm here lounging and whomever I'm hanging out with on the boat today is lounging across from me, we're directly back and forth. We don't have things offset, making uncomfortable spaces, making it weird to have good conversations. Pontoon boats are all about hanging out with your friends, hanging out with your family 
having good conversations back and forth. As you start looking at the detail in our seating, one thing you'll notice on a Barletta C-Class is these gorgeous vinyl wrap seat bases. We don't leave the plastic bases exposed. We don't, uh, we don't like to leave things unfinished on there. So really like that coloring and the offset. The contrast compared to the furniture, it does match throughout with um, the seat backs and the bases. And since I'm down here, I'd like to show you that we've got a couple of USB ports for charging the phones. Plenty of storage underneath all the seats. And you'll notice on a Barletta, we have good access or communication between the seats. So if I've got something real long that needs to go in here, it can also stretch out and store up into here too. A great example of that is your cover temp poles. You may notice that we've got nice stainless steel trim cup holders on the boat. Again, love the hardware, love the high-end look. Awesome armrests in the bow. Accented by beautiful hardware. We do have underneath this seat a trash can. And as I step toward the middle of the boat, you'll notice that we've got a nice snack table or a cocktail table that can flip up all day while you're using it. Or can stow away easily. I just love the nice reclining captain and co-captain's chairs that we have on this particular model. You'll notice they've got a great recline. They swivel about the base. They'll also move forward and back so the captain can get perfectly comfortable on the boat. Great armrests that move as you recline. And then just fantastic detail in the stitching that you would expect from a luxury boat. So great offset in the color. Some nice piping, carrying the theme of the seats through the boat with some accent stitching at the top headrest. It's a very comfortable seat to sit in. You'll notice the back of it is nice and high. And I can find my spot that I'm comfortable to drive. Really for this category boat, it's the best helm seat in the business. Here at the helm, you're going to notice a few things that Barletta just really does very, very well. Every boat that we build has fantastic leg room for the captain. It's such an important part of the boat to be able to sit here and be comfortable. And it amazes me how overlooked that, that is in a lot of pontoon boats. So you can see I've got plenty of room to stretch my legs out, be comfortable while I'm driving. As I work my way up the helm, we've got a gorgeous steering wheel. Easy to reach, awesome Hertz head unit, all Bluetooth of course, and the sound is fantastic out of these Hertz units. Really, really great, great quality. Hertz is an Italian company. They've been doing this for many, many years, for decades. And they're uh, what we love about them and why we chose them in Barletta. They just have fantastic range from the high to the low. Regardless of what kind of sounds you listen to, what kind of music you like, it's just got really nice, clean, clear sound. Very, very nice stuff. If you get a chance and you're out shopping the boat, stop by a dealer and ask them to turn that thing on and crank it up for you. Working my way up, we've got beautiful Barletta branded gauges. Of course, we've got a TAC, GPS driven speedometer, fuel gauge, and a trim gauge. And then we've got a lot of that same information in a digital format underneath it over here. Coming across to my electronics on a C-Class, we'll have three different options for you. We have a standard hook four, which is essentially a depth gauge. We've got the hook five that you see on this boat, which now gives you GPS. And then if you choose to go all the way up to a Simrad, we've got a seven inch Simrad uh, that can fit in this space too. This particular boat happens to be optioned with an RGB package. So I've got my RGB light switch right here. A great cell phone holder. And my switch panel.
working my way around to the side of the helm, of course, our throttle. Switch for the power bimini top. Every bar let us standard power biminis. And a great cup holder, Yeti ready for the captain, down below the rub rail, out of the way, keep your drink nice and cool and shaded. As I step away from this beautiful, very sleek, very automotive style, nicely shaped dash, I'd like to point out that we've got a courtesy switch light right here. And the way that switch works is it's a push button on, push button off. Extra cup holder. And I hope you know by now that Barletta is the most pet friendly pontoon in the business. Food and water dish for your good friends. Middle of the boat, you'll see a massive in-floor storage. You can see right now I've got it full with fenders and life jackets and all the water toys. And you see we purposely built this thing good and wide so you can fit wakeboards down in there. It's very deep, goes all the way to the bottom of the hull, and it stretches about six feet forward to aft. So I think you'd be hard pressed to find much that won't fit inside of there for storage. Stepping over to the co-captains, got a nice little co-captain's caddy, dual cup holders, cell phone holder, and another USB charger. Nice accent netting, so you've got a place to tuck anything important away. Here on the stern of the boat, I'd like to point a few things out to you. Number one, our flooring comes all the way to the back and through the rear swim deck. In, in true Barletta fashion, nothing cheap about the floor. It's a very high end, very comfortable underfoot floor. It looks fantastic. It matches all the interior beautifully and just kind of pulls this high end look of the boat together. Since I mentioned swim deck, I always love to point out that our Barletas have nice big swim decks on the back of the boat. It's such an important part of the boat. It's such a usable part while you're out on the water tubing, skiing, swimming, just simply rafting off. So we always want to give you good room, not only to get in and out of the boat back here, but to walk around comfortably from side to side, on and off the dock. You notice a fantastic, very deep reach, stainless steel swim ladder more stainless steel accents, a very easy to reach, easy to get to fuel fill right in the middle of the boat. We put it there on purpose because we want you to be able to fill, fill the boat regardless of which side of the dock you pull up on, if you're filling at a marina or which side of the, um, um, which side of the fuel tank you uh, pull into if you're trailing your boat back and forth. And if you're trailering, easy to get up the ladder and fill it right back here. And then we kind of want that fuel tank on the business end of the boat too, just in case you happen to spill a little bit, get a little bit of gas um, um, leaking out. You'll notice that we've got really nice rigging tubes back here at the motor pan. You don't get on a Barletta and see loose wires. You don't see things just unfinished. Certainly a good fuel filter right at the back of the boat, easy to get to, easy to change once a year. These four-stroke motors that we're putting on our Barletta's just absolutely run beautifully. Very, very reliable engines in today's world. And about the only thing we want to do is make sure we've got good power charge to them by keeping a good battery on them and keeping the fuel uh, running nice and clean through there. You'll notice just forward of the engine is this awesome stainless steel ski and tube tow bar. We purpose overbuild this thing so that you can pull a tube behind it and pull skiers. We don't make any disclaimers about not being able to run your kids out on tubes. Of course, on top of the ski toe and tube bar, we've got an awesome, awesome American flag. This is an option on all of our boats. All hand sewn, trims the boat out great. Absolutely love it. Another option I would like to point out on this boat um, is our stainless steel safety stanchions. You can buy it both ways. You can delete this or include it. And when it's included, it does clip over here and adds just a little bit extra element of safety for the boat. One thing about the design and tent from Barletta with our stanchions is we built them off the side of the boat with a real nice 
profile that matches this tow bar because everything we do is on purpose. It still gives you great access to the cleat. When you don't have the chains in place, we've got good access to the ladder and we've also got great access off the side of the boat at the dock. So it's functional but unobtrusive at the same time. On the C22 you see as I step back in toward the boat, you may notice a battery switch recessed into the upholstery. We always have a nice on-off switch for your battery so you, when you're done with the boat for the day, you can turn that thing off and know that you haven't left anything on by mistake, you won't have any power drains. We really want to make this a positive ownership experience for everybody. One thing that we know happens a lot on boats is dead batteries and we're working hard to implement things like battery switches in the boat to prevent a dead battery when you get onto the boat on a Saturday morning for the first time. Wonderful gates that I talked about when we started the video. Very solid, rattle free. Since we're on an ultra lounge version of our C-Class boat, I will just walk you through this floor plan. It's a very popular one for us. We have a great forward facing bench with a couple of Hertz speakers built down in it in that same accents that you saw on the bow. Of course, storage underneath the seat. Makes for a nice pit group with the captain, the co-captain, and a couple of people across the back, two, three, very easily. You'll notice cup holders always in the right spots. When you're at the sandbar or doing what we're doing today, floating out in the middle, you can flip that around and have a great rear facing lounge. We can also fold that lounge down into a full sun bed or a day bed. I'm raising girls at my house and they love it back here for sunny. It also pops up into a forward lounge position back here. So I've got that same pit group again. I've brought everybody back together in the boat, but in an awesome lounge position. We happen to have one of these floor plans at my house and it spends most of the summer just like this. We love it. But we're not done yet. We can fold that up into a great rear seating position. And that rear seat does work at the same time as the forward seat. So you can see it's a fantastic design, lots of different positions, the most in the industry. Nobody's doing an ultra lounge like this, this well, it's wonderful. Thanks for checking out Barletta if you're in the market for just an awesome, awesome boat, tremendous value, but one with quality, one that's exceptionally well built, one that you can really, really be proud to spend the day on and bring your friends and family on. You gotta come see the Barletta C-Class. They're just amazing, amazing boats. I'm so proud of what our team has put together and what we've built here. It's fantastic, we don't miss a detail. So go find a dealer, come check these things out. You're gonna absolutely love what you see, not just in the showroom, but we'll see you out on the water. Thanks guys. Doot, doot.